you know, it's almost ironic in a way that we finally dawned on this because the symbol of our film festival has been the Egyptian theater right on Main Street in the heart of Park City. And it's become our, you know, it's the emblem of sort of what we are. It's our icon. I'm here right now for the Art House Convergence, which is a mini conference for art house exhibitors and it's been uh, very good so far I think. Uh, my name is Russ Collins and I'm the executive director of the Michigan Theater in Ann Arbor, Michigan. We do touring rock and roll shows and we're the home for the symphony and community theatricals and university gatherings. But the largest program component in terms of number of days and amount of attendance is our specialty film program. My name is Toby Leonard and uh, I'm from the Belcourt Theater in Nashville. I'm a uh, program director there. My name is Connie White, and I have a independent film booking company called Balcony Booking, and I book um, independent art films for the Coolidge Corner Theater in Brookline, Mass. My theater is, it was the first solar-powered theater in America, and uh, that was one thing that uh, I was sharing with other people here, and you know, part of the convergence is talking about how we can survive. A theater like ours uh, is the last neighborhood theater in Nashville, the rest of them. So uh, people have a genuine attachment to the character of the neighborhood, the movie house, and they want to support it and they want it to stick around. The community-based leaders have to do all their own education and outreach to their audience. They have to kind of say, here's movies, here's why you should come see them. And it isn't based on marketing dollars and it isn't based on, on stars. What happens is, is they develop a trust in their community that people come to see movies at your theater and they go, oh, that was really interesting, I really liked that film. I'll give another one a chance. So there's really a trust that gets built up between the theaters and the audience. The main connection is, is fostering a uh, community that is receptive to and appreciates uh, independent film and uh, art film. You know, stuff that's off the beaten path and not playing in the multiplex. Hearing some a lot of the stuff I've heard just over the past day and a half has just been not only inspiring but invigorating and, you know, gives you a, a little kick in the rear in the fact of, you know, things that you can do differently or just the, the passion that everybody has uh, in what we do because, you know, that's sort of the bottom line passion. 